What? What do you mean, clean graves? Someone said, I love that video. What the f do you love about it? Like, is she robbing him at least? Like, what, what do you mean? What's happening? Cleaning graves for clout? Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And I have an update. A few weeks ago or months ago, I talked about this trend of working for free on TikTok. I talked about this girl on TikTok who would work at Target and uh, other various establishments, Walmart, stock the shelves and organize things and give people money. And also uh, that wasn't the main focus. The main focus was this woman named the clean girl who would go into fast food restaurants and clean the bathrooms. She would not be wearing the proper cleaning gear. Uh, she would not get permission from the restaurants. I don't even know if you can get permission from the restaurants because she doesn't work there. Then they would try to, you know, ask her not to do what she's doing. Maybe she means well, she's making content, but assuming she does mean well, they can't verify the chemicals that she's using. And also that th they're opening themselves up to liability. It's just, it's, it's wrong for a lot of ways, but the content's very strange. You can check out that video after this one. It's not required watching, but we're talking about the clean girl again, because something that I left out of my clean girl coverage, but did notice, uh, <laughs> is that the other part of the clean girl's content is about cleaning graves. There's no what if fans or butts fuck? about it, there's no way to spin this. She makes content about grave cleaning and uh, apparently doesn't get permission to do it. And it's real. What do you mean clean graves? Someone said, I love that video. What the f do you love about it? Like, is she robbing him at least? Like, what, what do you mean? What's happening? Strange. I was looking for some way to talk about this, but people kept sending me her TikToks. And so I said, you know what? I'm just going to try. We'll Wait, is it headstones? I mean, that's not that bad. If it's just like clearing up gravestones and like headstones, it's not like the worst thing. I think that's fine. See what happens. But it's very strange and it could be upsetting. It's definitely upsetting to my sensibilities. So I understand if this is not the video for you. The reason I'm talking about this is because of how- It is something you definitely have to do like right though, I, I suspect, because uh, it's still weird as f but if you don't do it right, then you can like- up the gravestone and then it's really really messed up can you imagine like person has no more relatives like no living relatives you fuck up the gravestone nobody's gonna fix it absurd and strange it is and that's usually the type of things that i talk about and also i've got a uh, dark sense of humor you know i like watch family guy and stuff it's a look inside my twin Wait, what is this? Did you see this baklava is Chinese this now, apparently? This is Citron Hot Honey Baklava. It's my Chinese-American take on a Mediterranean classic. Before y'all come for me arguing if it's Greek or Turkish or Syrian, this is by no means authentic to those traditions. From my research, there's no conclusive written record of the invention of this sweet. However- Excuse me. Okay, wrong. Uh, it's Turkish. Uh, let's move on. Twisted brain, dude. <laughs> but first, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, Air Up. Air Up is more than just a water bottle. It's two water bottles. <laughs> just kidding, but- uh. Ethical reacts and it's three pods per pack so it's a lot of gallons per pack click link in my description to start with air up today thanks to air for sponsoring this video and now back to the video i'm at the graveyard at night i'm at the graveyard at night even that gives you a sense of like the packaging of these videos it doesn't feel like it matches the tone of what's happening. I've said before that this creator, the clean girl, has perfected Troom Troom voice, <laughs> where it just feels like I'm watching a life hack video. This is the one, it has 1.3 million likes, which is to say it's got a boatload of views. So this one's called, I cleany an abandoned graveyard at night. Ghost, tombstone emoji, hashtag scrub daddy, hashtag scrub daddy partner. So a couple things here, uh, one, there's the obligatory misspelling of a word. An important active word in the description is often misspelled for engagement, I think. It's gotta be engagement bait, it happens every time. I can't think of another reason that it happens. Cleany, also, hashtag scrub daddy partner. There's nothing inherently wrong with cleaning graves. Hey Hassan, I just wanna tell you that your rad radical left propaganda the Hamas downplaying and your edgelord mentality made me hate the US left. You are such a dislikable person. 
Amazing. Congratulations. Greetings from Germany. Mm. Brother, you're German. Your opinion has been discarded instantly. What made you think that we were going to ever take the German left seriously? Unless you are one of the very few German leftists who despises these like fake anti-fascists. Why don't you go keep dumping pig lard into like Muslim bakeries or some shit in an act of resistance against Hamas? That's awesome. <laughs> Never look up anti-Deutsch. Yeah, anti-Deutsche chatter coming in here like, Hassan, <laughs> you are a Muslim monkey. <laughs> As a German leftist, I despise your Islamist fundamentalist ways. That's awesome. If you are getting permission uh, for doing it, and I think it can be like a very beautiful thing to, to, to clean, clean a grave, but there are creators who do this respectfully, get permission, treat things with the appropriate tone. But this is like the Darmanification of grave cleaning because it is all of the darkness with none of the tone. I need to show you one of the TikToks that we've looked at before because they have the same structure. She goes, I'm going to clean Burger King bathroom for free. Come with me to clean the Burger King bathroom for free. And then she starts cleaning and she goes, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Is it okay for me to clean here? Like that type of thing. That's generally like the flow of the, the format. And I need you to see that so that you see that it is down just completely applied to grave cleaning as if a graveyard is the same place as a Burger King bathroom. And as long as I'm not there, it is not. <laughs> it is not. Unless I had one too many chicken fries and then you should probably stay away. The saturation that can only appeal to children. It's like sugar for the eyes. You know what I mean? Some of the things that happen in this creator's TikToks feel like the dark magic that is used to confound the minds of children like the specific editing techniques the oversaturation the tone of the voice all of it feels like a spell all of it feels like some sort of ritual that is used to uh keep a child locked to their screen it's as if she was trained in the dark arts of coco melon and then has started using use her powers kids. for evil i just needed to show you a few seconds of this to jog your memories for those of you who've seen the previous video i don't think it's for kids about this and to set the stage for what you're about to see which is exactly the same thing cleaning this abandoned grave for free. I have so many questions in my head. What happened? How did this grave get so dirty? Who's buried here? Okay. I do think this is like a weird adult fetish. It's way worse. Some of those questions have answers. How did this grave get so dirty? Uh, it's been, it, it, it's, it's old <laughs> is the, the main, the main contributor to that. The other question that you had was who's buried here. There's a thing called a tombstone. Usually it has the name of the person that's buried there. And uh, sometimes they're unmarked in which case that question's valid. In this case, you're about to read the name. So you've answered your own question. So shout out to you, I guess. So dirty. Who's buried here? Her name's Bienvenida. Wow. Her name is welcome in Espanol. Wait. Bro, bro, it's like she chose to do the one thing that's not as like objectionable overall and did it in the most objectionable way possible. Like, I feel like there's a respectful way to do this. People have brought up other people who do stuff like this where they do like grave restorations. And I think they do it with like consent from the family and they will like talk about the history of the person. You know what I mean? Like offer them some kind of dignity and death. This is literally like taking a dookie on the person. Like this, this is the grave of Katie Weeks. Katie died in 1874 at the age of seven. The cause of death recorded on her death record is brain fever. Brain fever was an umbrella term that could be used to describe meningitis, encephalitis, or cerebritis, basically inflammation of the brain. In Katie's time, any of these afflictions would have about a 90% mortality rate. The prognosis usually is better now, but they're still pretty deadly. Katie's parents were named Henry and Lucy Weeks. Henry worked first as a carpenter and later was a car mechanic. A year after Katie was born in 1868, Lucy gave birth to a little boy named Alan. Alan died just eight days after he was born. The cause of death recorded on his record is fits. He most likely had some underlying condition that caused seizures. 
Henry and Lucy also had a daughter named Edith a few years after Katie died. And she. Would this is also not a Scrub Daddy sponsorship. It's kind of crazy that there's a thing called grave talk, though. Like, they do have gravestone cleaning. I would haunt this lady so easily if she did this to me. I don't know. I just, uh, like, there's still, there's still a difference between the way she's doing it and the way this lady's doing Wait it. Wait a minute. Her grave should be welcoming, too. This is foul, dude. Her name means welcome in Spanish. Her grave should be welcoming, too. Oh my god. How about you welcome the top of the hour ad break into your house's chat? I gotta I gotta take Kaya out to pee. Okay. She very clearly is chirping at me. Somebody's bored. Anyway, anyway. Come here. You big old baby. I love her so much. At least it's respectful talking about her lives that is just making judgment that dumb disrespectful shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's 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 up rage inducing like the top of the hour ad break is unless you're subscribed for five dollars or for free with a twitch prime or by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky here's the theme and ad break now the scrub daddy smiling at the grave this is the last thing you see before you die <laughs> and your grave is then cleaned by this i have very important people to me who have passed if i saw this woman cleaning their graves i would actually lose my mind i would be very mad I would be very mad. Wouldn't think it's funny. I wouldn't think it's cute. Wouldn't think it's nice that it's sponsored. And yeah, I don't think the fact that these are very old graves is any excuse for that, you know? And why are we doing the Dora the Explorer Spanish lesson as well? Her name is Welcome in Espanol. We didn't need that. I don't think that added any color to the, st the story that you're trying to weave. This is the dirtiest grave I've ever seen. Leave? Bienvenida alone. I would rather you not clean my grave and stay silent than clean my grave and talk about how it's the dirtiest grave you've ever seen. Everyone deserves a beautiful resting place. Bienvenida died on July 23rd, 1980. Her star sign is Aries. My best friend is an Aries. I don't care. <laughs> Why are you talking to yourself? Also, 1980 wasn't that long ago. This person has living relatives that could see this. Bienvenida's life was like, does she like chocolate cupcakes? What killed her? We don't want what? Okay, she's up in the ante. She up in the ante, bro. That's crazy. TikTok to get banned, right? Congress is like, they need to sell TikTok. We need to get rid of TikTok and 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 and, and re have it be an American owner or something. Or else we're shutting it down. I'm against that. Let the record show. But if they had showed these videos, I feel like it would be open and shut. Unfortunately, you're not helping TikTok's case, okay? there's It's trending right now that people are posting the reasons to not delete TikTok. And this person is dedicated to posting the reasons to get rid of it forever. I'm really just obsessed with the construction of it, right? Because it, it doesn't feel like earnest content. It feels like calculated content where every second of these 44 seconds has been meticulously chosen. Why did she eat a chocolate cupcake? Was she just feeling particularly hungry? She had to bring that from home. There's not a bakery at the gravesite. Also, it's late at night because she doesn't want to be caught doing this. She also ate the cupcake after cleaning this with no gloves. And I assume that there's not like running water somewhere that she can wash her hands. I hope that she has the tools and she like brings the appropriate cleaning supplies from home to keep herself clean. But in the Burger King videos, she's like on hand and naked knee, <laughs> like scrubbing down the Burger King, exposing her body to God knows what chemicals. We've talked before about how like when you don't know what chemicals are around and you're using cleaning chemicals, it's very easy to breaking bad yourself into some mustard gas <laughs> or into some something that's gonna be like toxic to the skin. It it just isn't worth it. It just isn't worth the views. I just I just I just I'm without words other than the ones I've said and will continue to say. Oh wait, it's it gets deeper. The date is July twenty third, nineteen eighty. The date of this person's passing. And they say, Bienvenida died on July 23rd, 1980. Her star sign is Aries. Her star sign is Aries? July 23rd. How do we even know her star sign if that's when she died? They, it doesn't have her birthday. And if this were the birthday, this would not be in Aries. Aries is in like March and April, right? I don't know this that well. I'm a Taurus, by the way. So I know that Aries is like right before me. When I die, I'm haunting her. <sighs> So, so there's so many details that are just wrong and it feels like they're purposefully wrong to like for engagement. It's, it's wild because I am, I am raging. I am.
Yeah, she is she is successfully rage baiting on every she's maxing out the rage bait. She's maxing out the rage bait by like saying wrong things on purpose, writing the wrong thing in the description. It's literally the the yeah, she's rage maxing. I am taking the bait. <laughs> I don't think that means the con content served its purpose. I think you're still allowed to critique the purpose of the content. Why on purpose? The existence of the content. Clicks, chatters, clicks. I don't know if you understand. Th this is probably this is the reason why a lot of people are always like, "Oh, Hassan says stuff that like people misconstrue and get mad at on purpose because he wants eyeballs." It's like some people don't give a shit. Okay, I want people to be charitable to what I have to say. Some people that scrub graveyards don't give a fuck about that. They just care about eyeballs. They don't give a shit if people like them or not. So they do that for engagement because people will almost always, people will almost always respond in the, in the comment section of videos and be like, you wrote that wrong. You know what I mean? Even if it's existence is to make you upset because it's not a fictional story. It's a real person's, as far as I know, it's a real person's grave that they're cleaning. I think it'd be a lot more work to create a fake grave and purposefully mess up all of the details. Not to mention this person has a ton of these videos. The video is calculated, it's performative, it knows it's rage bait, right? And I'm taking the bait. I think that that is like a very easy thing to say because it, lets off the hook this content existing as if it's valid to exist if it's rage bait where you annoyed me i've given you a week off i'm like no i think it probably shouldn't happen this is not sponsored but this is a scrub mommy and it's it's bristly on one side and soft on the other side just thought you should know i can never do a scrub daddy sponsorship now because i feel like I, in this video, I'm trying to steal Scrub Daddy as a sponsor away from this woman, which is like antithetical to actually what I'm trying to do. And taking a Scrub Daddy sponsorship would not help that cause. Uh, however, maybe the 5D chess move all along was to create rage bait sponsored by Scrub Daddy so that real Scrub Daddy fans, the children of Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mommy, myself, Scrub Jarvie, come to the defense of Scrub Daddy and go, no, no. You're better than this scrub daddy. And then they just get even more earned media and, and uh, for their marketing spend. Now that, I have to applaud. I might be here all night, but it's so fun. Ooh, a little bug. Ooh, a little bug. <laughs> when the shovel moved, my soul left my body. Why are we not talking about the shovel moving? Oh my God, I even missed something. 1980. Her star sign is Aries. Sign is Aries. That is so funny. Obviously it's like a string that somebody is pulling or it could be a composite shot. There's there's a million ways to do this, but this is a wild engagement move that I actually missed. Cleaning this up abandoned grave for free the for See? free gets me every time because it's like do we are we expected to think that you would be paid for this and then the second thought i have is you are being paid for this you were sponsored and you can make money off of the tiktok views and stuff so jokes on us it's not for free uh we're all paying for it with our eyeballs you know it looks nice it is interesting that she came back in the morning um because it wouldn't look so good if she was using her like harsh horror movie lighting. This brings out the worst uh, parts of me. <laughs> Grave talk is proof that Zoomers yearn for a works progress administration to deploy fleets of them to beautifully to beautify our urban centers and do other make work. Thank you. Finally, a good take, dude. We need our government to do things like put these Zoomers to work. Because now I'm questioning if she added dirt in branches, you know? Like, oh, those branches that you picked off at the beginning, were those there or did you add them? Why would I, why would my brain do that? Because it's so, dis the content is already so disingenuous that it takes my brain to the darkest places and assuming the darkest motives. I don't like thinking this way. In times like these, I can't help but think of Pimp My Ride, a show where it seemed like Exhibit was doing really nice things for people, but in the ensuing decades, we found out that they were just putting popcorn makers in people's trunks, aquariums in people's windshields or whatever, just for the views. And the cars were still barely functional at the end of the day. And a lot of them were never driven again. I can't- Wait, really? Dude, I- Wait, oh my God. I did not know this. This is actually- Oh my God. I love that show. They played that shit on MTV in Turkey, bro. I used to watch that shit all the time. Hey, yo, exhibit. Hey, yo, this exhibit. 
I heard you like TVs. So we put a TV inside of a TV, inside of a TV. That's like a boomer meme, dude. I think they took out all the TVs before giving, no. They took out the TVs before giving them back? I'd say that that is what's happening here, but it does give me the vibe of content over everything. And uh, it's a tale as old as time, but the only way to know is to watch more. Cleaning an abandoned grave for free. Petition to stop saying for free. We know. It was completely covered in dirt, so I had no idea who this person was. <laughs> In doing that, she admits that she doesn't have any permission or knowledge of the graves that she's cleaning, which doesn't make it better, I think. There's no hashtag scrub daddy here, but this one is eligible for commission. Cleaning an abandoned grave for free. Why is it abandoned? Is it abandoned because it's dirty? That's a dark way to look at a graveyard. <laughs> I feel like you're going to see a lot of abandoned headstones. But as I started scrubbing the dirt away, I could finally read the name. So a couple things about this one is there's flowers and there's an American flag here, and those things are not dirty at all. So either she added them or someone else added them and it's not abandoned. But I'm assuming that she added them, at which point she added them before she cleaned off the thing. So how would she know? You know what I mean? Like the timeline doesn't, the continuity doesn't line up for me. He was a well-respected firefighter, a family man, and cared deeply for others, and he is missed by many friends and family. It appears that what? this is a graveyard where it is actually taken care of and they're putting flowers, they're, they're keeping the flowers fresh there and putting an American flag for like, you know, uh, people, public servants. You know what's funny is this, in this one, for some reason, she has a more somber tone. Because it's almost like she knows that if she did the same tone that she did for the previous. Yeah, that one was Mexican. Bienvenida. This is a real American firefighter, you know? Grave. It wouldn't fly. By the way, you want to know what my actual take is? I think she dirtied that grave up herself. That's what I think. I think she went in there, found the firefighter grave, dirtied it up, only to clean it. Because that one didn't even look real. Like that one didn't actually look like that's well maintained. That's a well maintained ass grave, dude. What the f and like the original dirt on it is like nothing. Yeah, I think Scrub Mommy f that one up on purpose. Wait, where the f was it? Did I miss it? It was completely covered in dirt, so I had no idea who this person was. <laughs> In doing that, she admits that she doesn't have any permission or knowledge of the graves that she's cleaning. This one is eligible for commission. Cleaning an abandoned grave for free. Why is it abandoned? Yeah, is I'm it telling abandoned you, dude, I'm it's... telling you, that one is not an abandoned grave at all. That one, she cleaned it up herself. I mean, she dirtied it but up herself added, 100%. Before she cleaned off the thing, so how- Expected friends and family. It appears that this is a- graveyard where it is actually taken care of and they're putting flowers they're they're keeping the flowers fresh there and putting an american flag for like you know uh, people public servants you know what's funny is this in this one for some reason she has a more somber tone because it's almost like she knows that if she did the same tone that she did for the previous grave it wouldn't fly with people it's like slightly more respectable because they were a firefighter uh, which I don't think is fair. I think you should be treating all these people with respect. For anybody making TikToks on my grave when I die, I want the most extreme product placement you can imagine. I want someone to like just whip out a big thing of flex tape or whatever and just, you know, make sure things are, are nice and fixed up. Maybe like drink a prime <laughs> or something with the logo facing out. Do like a, like kneel, like do a Tebow or whatever on my grave. Disrespect me in any and all ways. I swear, if you clean my grave without a paid product placement for Raid Shadow Legends, I don't want it. Don't post it. There's an abandoned grave in here. <sighs> the cuts are so funny. These have so many views. It's the most liked one so far. This has 33 million views. It's been on so many people's For You pages. That explains why so many people have sent it to me and it goes zero to 100 immediately. There's an abandoned grave in a bush. <laughs> like what? There's an abandoned grave in here. I'm gonna clean it today for free. I have no idea who's buried here. Half of this work feels like you should have a permit to do it. You know what I mean? 
Like, can you just take a chainsaw? Like, aren't graveyards? It's really sad because this is another, like, this is another part of autism culture online that was stolen by white women and basically bastardized and turned into whatever the f this thing is that we're watching. The older chatters probably know the original version of this ridiculous sentence. No, the original version of this, if you know, you know, is the guy who cleans, uh, like the, like the dams that beavers muck up the drain guy. Yeah. The drain guy who like would unclog drains. And those videos are awesome. That literally how it started. That's how it started. Like it was like people who are doing this work for free. That guy's awesome. He loves his shit. Everybody, everybody loves what he's doing. Everybody thinks he's a hero. That's his job. No, man, that's not originally his job. He would do it for free. You don't know what you're talking about. Like that guy was doing it literally for free to save infrastructure. Anyway, regardless, um, nowadays, like these, these people have taken that and went, oh, that's like pretty good content that people like. Let me bastardize it. Let me ruin it. I got no skin in the game. <laughs> like owned by the state or something like this land is not yours to chainsaw what if i said hey when i die could you like make sure my grave is covered in brush i don't want to like sort of be out in the public and that was my dying wish and then you're like someone covered this grave up <laughs> like what are we doing here just keep on covering more and more my mind is swirling with questions how did all this get so buried can their family find this headstone when they visit? <sighs> That's questions insulting, right? Can their family find this headstone when they visit? I could finally read the name. Doris Lugo. Things I don't have the answer for. Are you allowed to just chainsaw whatever trees you want? I don't think so. That feels like it's uh, illegal. Post then saved the highway from collapsing after you unblocked the drain and heard splashing sounds in the culvert. Also, these industrial cleaning products are not like safe for the plants and wildlife around here. So it feels like it, you know, would be like for indoor use only type thing. I don't know specifically, but it does seem like it could be dangerous for the trees. I also don't know the por porosity of the stone that's used here and whether or not it's okay to use these sorts of cleaning supplies on the stone, what that's gonna do to the stone over time. I don't know, I just, I'm not convinced that she's asking these questions either. Cleaning, I could finally read the name. Doris Lugo. But we're only just starting to uncover her mystery. Call me a conspiracy theorist, but I find it a little weird that of the three TikToks that we've looked at, and this might be selection bias, Lugo is like a surname or like a maiden name in two of them. And the background is similar, which makes me feel like this could be like a family plot of some kind, which, ah. I just hope she had permission, man. I know Doris was born August 14th, 19th. Okay. Please tell me this is just how she hides a product. Not that she has her own cleaning product that she's promoting here. Don't be a dirty girl. What waitlist? Join the waitlist for, no, no. I have been a professional cleaner for over a decade, testing every product on the market. My dream, a bright, fun, foaming cleaning spray that not only deep cleans, but also looks beautiful on the shelf. What shelf are you having? out for show. <laughs> oh my God. I love the Febreze selection you have here. <laughs> That's why for these past nine months, I've dedicated myself to testing and tweaking prototypes to create the world's greatest spray. Dude, this is like the ozone layer is opening up just reading this. Now I'm working on getting this innovative product manufactured and out into the world. Stay tuned, it's coming soon. I cannot believe they pink sauced cleaning supplies. <laughs> Interested in being one of the first to experience the world's greatest foaming cleaning spray? If someone was like, do you want to be the first to try the world's first chemical? A beautiful chemical compound that's meant to be pink. I cannot believe this, dude. Is it, we, this has somehow jumped the shark again. <laughs> this has jumped a second shark. Sir, a, <laughs> the clean. This is a class action lawsuit waiting to happen girl has jumped a second shark and she passed away february 1st 1995 but who put doris in the forest what but who put doris in the forest <clears throat> i kept wondering what her life was like 
Who did she love? Was she pretty? Did she have a dog? I'm mad. Dude, what is this? Was she pretty? Did she have a dog? These are questions that like a child would ask. You're an adult entrepreneur, all right? doing self-promo in your grave cleaning video with Trim Trim voice. Find more information online. I found nothing. That made me so sad. Probably because people weren't hyper online when they passed away before the internet was a thing. Stan, the thought of Doris disappearing into the forest, being forgotten forever. Making her corner of the world beautiful again is the least I can do. Y you can't do this. Can you do this? How is it so bright? Is this like excessive color grading? I'm so grateful to everyone who follows me to do these transformations. What the hell? What? It is completely no shot she wrote over it. I'm just gonna say that what it looks like, which is that it looks like it was painted over. Man, so for me, you know, you could take from this whatever you want, but for me, seeing every other piece of content that this person has made, I can't look at that content and give it any like good faith. You know, I can't assume that it's being made in good faith. Some of the other videos on this person's channel are- She put a look at this Comic Sans ass font that she put. You are 100 P worthy of being haunted. I'm sorry. You put this ugly ass like personalized Comic Sans ass font on my gravestone. I'm haunting your children. Okay, bro. She wrote RIP on it. That's at least three extra generations that I'm haunting, okay? One for each letter. One generation for I, one for R, and one for P. That's at least three just on that. R.I.P.? Bitch, what the fuck are you doing, R.I.P.? I really, really want to know. Wait, the date? Is that 45 to 95? It is transfer. What the hell? What? It is completely no shot she wrote over it. Wait. 14, 8, 45? To 95? Why the fuck does it have the, the day before the month? Where is she fixing these graves up? Or rather, these graves up. I'm just gonna say that what it looks like, which is that it looks like it was painted over. Man, so for me, you know, you could take from this whatever you want, but for me, seeing every other piece of content that this person has made, I can't look at that content and give it any like good faith. You know, I can't assume that it's being made in good faith. Some of the other videos on this person's channel are clearly staged. I don't have any more prepared videos. I'm just gonna watch a few more and see. What is this? Oh my God, she's doing it in Mexico. I just realized she's doing it in Mexico. I feel like in America, they'd be eating her ass. She's going down there to fuck up Mexican graves, bro. The mindset, that's like, she's, she's, <laughs> she's col colony maxing. That's that colonial mindset right there. She's like, not even in your death will I offer you dignity. This. I'm gonna clean it and find out. What? This feels staged, right? Like, you're on a beach, but there's a toilet here? How did you get so dirty? Why were you abandoned in a toilet? No, 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 no. Dude, I would not let my dog get anywhere near that. Are you kidding me? The unknown chemicals? All of this to sell your clean girl spray? I think it's a snake. I love snakes. <sighs> you see what I mean? Found a grave in the middle of the forest. It feels like every grave she finds is in the middle of this specific forest. This is- Yeah, this is fetish content. Straight up. It's like half fetish, half rage bait. It's half fetish, half rage bait, 100%. Oh my God. This is so crazy. She's awesome. No, she's not. She's, she is a villain, bro. She is like, and, and it's the weirdest type of villain too. Just say you hate women. I mean, I do, okay? If this is- <laughs> If this is what women represent, which they don't, I would. It's my biggest transformation yet. Finally, I was able to reveal the name. This looks exactly like the other grave. Sixto Padilla. I know I said women's rights and women's wrongs, but honestly, no. I take that back, okay? You can't say no take backs. I've taken it back. 
Women's rights only, no wrongs. Yeah, what a unique name. What a unique name when like almost every grave you've cleaned is like a non-stereotypically American name. Hmm, Jarvis Johnson, what a unique name. That's when she does my, uh, my graveyard video. Uh, when I die on March 29th, 2026. Bro, don't say that. Um, mark your calendars, everybody. Jarvis don't Johnson, say that. what a unique name. It sounds like he'd be friends with Peter Parker because he has an alliterative ass Marvel name. <laughs> what did he do in his lifetime? Probably made mid ass YouTube videos about girl bosses who just want to sell their spray. <laughs> Honestly, she deserve it, dude. I thought you were going to dig them up. I'm crying. That's going to be the next video series. Exhuming bodies for free. This is what happened. Oh my God, do you hear that? It sounds like something is crying inside this house right now. We made our way into the abandoned house and found this tiny puppy all yeah, alone. Okay. He was surprised. Dude, this goes this goes back to my my classic uh uh classic take that don't believe anything you ever see on TikTok. Everything you see on TikTok is fake, okay? Everything. Any any like slice of life content creators on TikTok that are making content, they're always faking it. Okay? I, there first of all, there's no way, bro. Look at this puppy, bro. You think a puppy that clean casually is abandoned? Like, get the f out of here. Surrounded by trash and scared to even approach us. Call me a conspiracy theorist, but I feel like if you just put a dog sound and then cut to yourself holding a dog is like the most beautiful, clean puppy you've ever seen in your life. It just Thank doesn't you, Jarvis. add up to me. It like doesn't look like his paws have touched the ground. <sighs> you know why? Because you're not supposed to have a puppy's paws on the ground in the dirt before they get their vaccinations. They couldn't stage it because it would be unhealthy for the puppy. Am I, am I a conspiracy theorist for saying that? If this were real, you would have no, you don't understand. She actually used their cleaning products on the puppy. <laughs> That's why she sprayed that shit with that ugly ass pink chemical dust and was like, now we clean the puppy. Have footed. You yeah, there's no longer a, a, an alive puppy. That puppy's about to get a gravestone too. Okay. Which she will clean later down the line after making it dirty herself. She killed the puppy is what I'm saying. Show footage of yourself finding the puppy. Because why wouldn't you? Because you'd be so content pilled that you would keep your camera rolling if you were like hearing, hearing sounds, right? Okay, so I think I have a lot of questions and not so many answers, but I do think that this is just another page in the book titled Clout Does Things to People. Like I said- All right, you know what Clout does? The slatty Maddie, it gets him a week long bang, bang, a week long ban for talking out of turn. Okay. Just kidding. We're doing, we're doing discord. We're doing discord. TikTok reacts <laughs> week long bang, dude.